When we think of open farms, we think of all the wonderful animals, the pigs, the sheep, the cows and the goats. But a small to medium sized working farm has to be so much more than livestock alone, if it wants to stay financially secure. My name is Alex Waite and I've come to Barnsley, home of Cannon Hall Farm, one of the most successful tourist attractions in South Yorkshire. Cannon Hall means a great deal to me and has been a big part of my life since I was a child. The purpose of my latest visit is uncovering what it takes to run a successful farm attraction such as this, along with the battles that come with it. I will be going behind the scenes, speaking with some of those at the heart of the business, to help find out what exactly makes it so special. Open to the public since 1989, Cannon Hall Farm is run by the Nicholson family, brothers Rob, Richard and David, and their parents Roger and Cynthia. I began by speaking with Rob Nicholson, one of the farm's directors, and asked him to give a flavour of just how much the attraction offers its customers. A, a day at Cannon Hall Farm will consist of, uh, obviously all the animal barns, if you, if you like animals you can come and look at them, you can watch them uh, go about their, their daily lives. We do sheep racing and ferret racing every day, we do a cow milking demonstration, we do a tractor and trailer ride um, on a weekend and at school holidays. We've now got the indoor play centre, which, uh, which obviously means that we've weatherproofed the attraction a little bit, you know, with, with something even on, on the worst of days. Um, and obviously all the, the retail offer and the, the two restaurants as well, so we're hopefully something for everyone. We've, we've changed the farm significantly uh, since 2009 in particular. Um, the, the, the motivation for that was the, the E. coli outbreak at uh, Godston Farm in the south of England. We, we realised then that farms like this are, are vulnerable places, especially we've got a lot of young and elderly people who are very prone to E. coli. So we wanted to make Cannon Hall Farm the, the safest farm of its type in the country and, and really safeguard the business and all its aspects because the, uh, the business isn't just about a visitor attraction, it's about the retail, the, uh, the restaurant side of it, all, all those facets. We drew up a plan um, which we started to implement in 2010 and the first part of it was to make the farm as safe as a farm of this type could possibly be and that was to remove contact with the, the vulnerable age groups, in, in fact with everyone. Um, but the challenge was to keep the farm an interesting and entertaining place for, uh, for people to visit. So, so we, we, we took our own course and, and decided that if we looked after our own place it would stand as, uh, stand as successfully for the future and, and, and it, it seems to have worked really well, you know, people seem to have stuck with us even without the animal contact. To understand more about the business plan, I spoke with Adrian Waite, a business advisor to the farm, who was a huge part of putting the plan together. One of the things we, we wanted to address in the business plan was also the seasonality of the business. So when it's, when it's um, the colder months of the year, when it's the sort of rainier months of the year, if, 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 say if the weather forecast says it's going to rain, um, for a pure outdoor attraction, some families won't come. Um, so the idea was put together to have an indoor um, play area in the farm. Um, so we actually went out and, and researched what other farms had done with their indoor play areas. And we actually went and visited a number of farms in the south of England that already had um, indoor play areas there. Adrian formerly worked for Barnsley Development Agency, which has since become Enterprising Barnsley, and his role was to work with and give support to high growth businesses in the area. I wasn't so much brought in as I actually approached them myself. We were keen to, to work with, um, as I say, businesses that, that, that offered um, good growth prospects, um, good prospects for growing the um, staff sizes in companies. So I actually approached them to see if they would be um, part of our key account program and, and that involves supporting them in, uh, in growing their business. With the contacts that we had, with the consultants and coaches that we were able to bring in, we were able to build on the sort of you know, natural business talents that the Nicholsons had um, and bring more traditional um, business support in um, to help them to, to sort of maximise the potential of the, uh, of the farm as a tourist attraction. Next I wanted to hear about life working at the farm. First up was Carol Rayner, the farm's general manager, who has been here since 2002. 
I look after all the staff here, of which we've got about 200 people. Um, so I look after the day-to-day -day running, do all the resourcing, uh, and looking after the general welfare of the people. Working at Cannon Hall Farm, very enjoyable, very busy. Every day is different. Um, there are no two days alike. I actually really enjoy working with people. That's working with the staff, working with the customers, because we all work on the shop floor here, um, whichever department that may be, from the directors down. My name's uh, Mark Asiavedham. That's a good traditional Yorkshire surname. I look after the catering side here. Uh, what do I enjoy about my job? Well, it's like horse manure, really. You know, um, it steams, it stinks, but I come home every day with a big smile on my face. Not only joking, guys, it's great. You get a real sense of feeling from it, you know, um, and satisfaction. It's a hard job. In fact, it's the hardest job I've ever done. We've got a lot of young people that work with us here, and, uh, you know, you get a reward out of actually giving them something to take away with them. And, uh, you know, that's really, really satisfying, to be fair. The Hungry Llama opened up back in Easter last year, and um, since that came along, yeah, I feared that we may half the volume of people that actually come in, but that hasn't happened. I think we've just increased the volume of people on site, which is a great addition, and it's done what it proved to do. It has made us all year round. It's made us a, an all year attraction, but it's also encouraged some of our locals and our regulars particularly the older clientele to actually come a little bit more because quite a lot of the noise and the children have been taken away from us now, which is uh, good all round for me as well. I was fast approaching the end of my visit, but there was still one thing I wanted to know. Why do people keep coming? What fundamentally makes the farm so special? I think we're special in the fact that we are unique. Uh, we're a tourist visitor attraction, we're a retail outlet, we're a restaurant environment, we cater for every age group and we like to have a personal approach with everyone. Well, hopefully that we're a, um, a good, honest family business with people's best interests at heart. We want to give them a nice time, we want to keep them safe, we want to give them good quality um, at a reasonable price. We want to live a nice life here and, and be a credit to Barnsley, hopefully, that's what we'd like. I mean, everybody who works on the farm is very, very friendly. And, um, you know, it's not just, you know, I, I just feel like a friend when I come down. They, they treat you like a friend. But then, as I see them, I think it's one of the secrets of the success of the farm, that they do know people very, very well. Um, they're a family-run business, and I think they treat everybody um, with the same level of respect. And I think it's that friendliness that comes across um, to, the, to the customers, and it's why the farm is so popular today. We're South Yorkshire and, uh, you know, we're dead friendly folk. With further expansion plans in the pipeline, Cannon Hall Farm is going from strength to strength and really is a modern farming paradise. Mm -hmm.